Hello, peoples of the internet. This is Emino, and we are playing Terra Genesis. Now, I have played this a, a little bit before. I've really only won Mars, which, as you can see right here, looks a lot more like Venus on my on my previous world, but that's fine. I mean, it's not okay. Let's actually go ahead and delete that. Because, and that doesn't matter, because we are starting over. Now, I usually choose the United Nations Space Administration, just because I really like the... I, I, I agree with the, their values of knowledge and demo democratic approach to government. However, if we wanted to do a an optimized playthrough of Mars as you would. Um, Daughters of Gaia would actually probably be a little bit better because, uh, you know, building a biosphere, you can use, you can really get, use all the help you can get, and the reduced cost for the Saleta would, uh, would admittedly be very nice. Now, I do just fine with the United Nations Space Administration. So that is what we're going to do. I mean, I can go ahead and turn the tutorial off. And let's go ahead and do normal, but I'm not going to do biospheres because it, it says recommended for experts only, and I do not consider myself enough of an expert to do that. Not yet, anyways. Maybe, maybe on a f future planet. All right. So it is currently 2035 on Mars. We have 10,000 or 10 million credits, and our first priority appears to be increasing the atmosphere, or increasing the atmospheric pressure, but before we can even do that, we need to start a colony. Now, I'm going to go to the elevation map, and, oh, you can actually zoom in, I didn't know that. Let's go ahead and see if we can get it ooh, just a little bit further south. Because that way, once we unlock the space elevator, we'll have, we'll guarantee to have a colony in in the right in, out in the right latitude range to build it. Um, now, if you if you're wondering why we need it to be in a certain range to be able to build the space elevator, a planet's rotation is such that if you build build too tall. And um, and that that when you build really tall, the the rotation that the planet can actually provide um, centripetal forces. I'm pretty sure that there are centrifugal forces to the um, to the structure that you're building, and and the force that the planet rotation exerts on your structure increases as you go further towards the poles of that planet. So, for example, building in the Arctic. Build, trying to build a space elevator in the Arctic is not a very good idea because there's going to be a lot of forces exerted, or for that matter, launching rocket ships. If you've heard that Florida is a really good place for launching rockets, that's why. It's in, it's right in that sweet spot of being close enough to the equator of Earth that the centripetal forces of Earth's rotation is really minimized. So it's easier to launch rockets into orbit from there. Now, um, going back to the colony, let's go ahead and name this. Let, let, let's name this M Eminoville. Just like no, let's let's not do that. Let let's call this. Um, Um, elevation. Mm, yeah, let's call it this elevation min, like that. Oh, and we have an incoming transmission. If we watch a short video, it looks like we can get one million credits. So I will edit the. Uh, well, yeah, especially early in the game, we we can really use all the credits we can get. So I'll just edit this out. Oh. Well, it looks like the game edited out for us. We did not get any credits. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put my mm, that culture point that I have towards mm, independence. Because that is how you win the game. And now that we have that, we have a 
priority to increase mining revenue. And let's um, go ahead and place our mine right about here. And yeah, we can leave it at, as Morgan's Drive, I guess. Not a bad name for a mining outpost. And let's do, um, oh wait, actually before we do that, let's go research, at the very least iron and probably also silver. That way we have access to more valuable ores when we are scanning. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with silver and I'm just going to do kind of a zigzag like this and I saw right around here was a fair bit of silver so we can go ahead and place mine there and ooh, there is actually a lot of silver right here so let's go ahead and do that and then let's go a step down and mine a bit of iron uh yeah sure right there and yes, iron doesn't really get us all that much, all that many more credits, but in this stage of the game, we really can use all of the credits that we can get our hands on. Um, now, let's see. We, it looks like we have a heating cluster. And, um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to build one of those. And then let's go ahead and build one more HAB unit, because um, the population of a colony is what determines um, how many buildings you can put in there, put in, put in the colony. Now, um, at this point, it's really, a, it's really more of a waiting game than anything else. Um, waiting for the credits to come in. Let's do a really quick check of our stats. Uh, we don't have any growth, heat, or de decline, but that's gonna change once the um, heating, the, um, the, oh, I've forgotten what it's called. The, oh, we've got a level four mine now, okay. The heating cluster, that's what it's called. As soon as the heating cluster is finished building, that's going to change, which is fine. We want that. Um, pressure also seems to be completely stable. Um, and we are going to need to increase that eventually, but we don't have anything to do that with yet. Oxygen is very low. We're going to need to increase that. Water oh, is minimal, but with heating the ice caps are going to start to melt very slowly and that'll increase the sea, sea level and then we don't have biomass because we have too few, too little pressure and also it's not warm enough yet and we don't really have a population growth and this is the economic status of our out of our colony so that looks like a good enough place to leave it off for right now um, well, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next video.